Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it is very, very general. Use your intuition to your own guide and check out the description box before you leave. Before you leave. Okay, so, y'all. So, uh, as y'all know, I'm not really a big Summer Walker fan, but that song, Damage, came on. And, you know, um, she was like, you, you can do damage. Mm. Y'all know how that song goes. Let me play it real quick, okay? I would play it on my TV, but... Here we go. And she be like, um, if you got it, it ain't no question. You know, y'all know how the song go. Damage. Yeah, that's the song. Holding me tight, loving me right, giving me life all night. You could be telling me lies, making me cry, wasting my time. Yeah. So I feel like what's going on, this is like a channel message. I'm getting chills when I do this. So I feel like... I got these two cards here. The number six card. This is blue lace agate. I normally have the crystal. Then we have rose quartz. So this is giving like blue and pink. So like gender neutral. Okay. Type of reading. Or like a very neutral energy type of reading. And I feel like what's going on. So physical body. Somebody's body is calling you or your body is calling them. Okay. Or there could like be a lot of lust and sexual tension here. Okay. But, yeah, and then we have the ancestors stepping in as well. Yeah. So, this is what really got me. Either learn me or I'm a lesson. So, I feel like what's going on, like, this is like a past life pattern. Somebody didn't get it right last time and they didn't, and they not getting it right this lifetime. Yeah, with the five of cups here, we got the two of cups, the five of cups. The Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Lover's card. So, somebody's wanting to reach out or communicate to you guys, Aquarius. Or there needs to be some communication had. Six, seven, eight. That could be somebody's area code here. Or five, two, eight, five, two, seven, five, two, six. I don't damn know. All right, but that's what I was getting. Also, the number six, 34, 11, and 44 could be a significance. You could be seeing four, four, four. All right, somebody could be seeing seven, seven, seven. I'm also getting uh, the number six, 11. All right. So my birthday could be on the 6th or the 11th here. Or maybe you use 11 for some type of reason. Okay. But child, there needs to be some type of conversation that needs to be had here. And the ancestors are here watching this all go down. Or they will be watching it go down. Either you the one who wanted to have the conversation with this person. Or this person wanted to have the conversation with you. But I feel like 10 of swords, you've already broken up with them. You're not dealing with them. Or like somebody did not learn their lesson. Pages for it. Somebody's stalking you, watching you, spying on you. Or like pulling on your energy. Manifesting you. Okay. Yeah. Or sneakily um, watching you. Or, or thinking of ways to approach you. Whoever this person is. I feel like they didn't get it right in the past life. So they didn't get it right this lifetime. Either. Yeah. This person wants to put in the work here. And I feel like all the glitters is not goal so i'm also hearing that song by meek mill and it goes like you feel the vibe it's contagious that's what it's like loving you and then um you know you bad bad you know you something 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 and then also that song 24 7 with ella may in it yeah you feel the vibe it's contagious yeah I know you going through some changes. Ooh, I wasn't getting so many fucking chills, y'all. I'm finna fall out. But yeah, seven of cups. I just feel like what's, what's going on. Somebody finally saw through the facade, saw that all the glitters is not gold, or saw through the lust, or <sighs> somebody realized that who they had an affair with, or you know that they, that they like the importance of this connection this lifetime. I feel like they did it too late last time, and they realized it too late this time. Yeah, five of cups and the two of cups. To this person, feel like. You know, they wanted to have this relationship to either fall back on or they wanted to do what the fuck they wanted to do here and be in third parties. And now they realize that third parties ain't worth a goddamn thing. Yeah. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Maybe this person was out being a player here. And I feel like intuitively you may have already known this. Or this, you may have known what the person was doing. But for some of you guys, if you didn't know, I feel like this person had a lot of fucking secrets here. And I feel like now what's going on is like, you know, too little, too late. Yeah, three of cups. Person had a third party here, ten of pentacles. They could have even been draining them of all their money. 
or only seeing them in a material type of way or whoever this third party maybe they have money or this third party was strictly material based this was not a other real soul level connection it was strictly based on like lust the body all that good stuff and I feel like towards the worst, they couldn't see it. And, you know, but it was, they couldn't see it. They were blinded by the rose colored glasses, though they were blinded, period. And I feel like three of wands, you're moving forward or you're moving on. And I feel like ten of wands, this, you're, you're, you're transforming into the emperor or the empress. Okay? And I feel like now this person realized how much baggage they have, how many problems they have, what they've created, what they've started, or, you know, all the pain they've caused you. Or all the shit they put you through, or all the shit that they've done. This person is also at war with themselves here. Six of Wands at war with their ego, at war with their pride. Okay? This person could have Leo placements here. Or they're conflicted, and everybody can see the, the stank on their face, the mistake on their face, the pain on their face. Yeah, judgment card. This person could also be going through karma, okay? Or being judged by a lot of people here. And also by your ancestors and theirs. Person could even be getting sick here, having a recurring health issues. But yeah, Page of Pentacles, they could not master this lesson. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Maybe we'll be butterflies. Yep, Tower card. Just couldn't get it right. Star card and Ace of Cups. I feel like you was, you supposed to get them your love. Heal them. Make them feel whole. Make them feel bright as a star. Shine like a star. Get attention. Or, you know, elevate them. One thing I've learned about a, a, a Aquarius placements, you guys have the power to either elevate somebody and show them their hidden talents and make them a success, or you have the power to uh, demote them, okay, and make them feel like they're not worth a damn and make everybody else see this the same way. You have that strong code on the community, on people's lives, okay? Um, but yeah, this person just couldn't get it right. Yeah, let's pull their energy towards you. Damn, the Knight of Wands came out again. Here, go that damn judgment card. Like I said, they're going through so much judgment, but they want to tell you their secrets. Or their sexual escapades here, or something important they have to tell you. Yeah, Seven of Wands here, because they want to be on top of the situation, or they want you to be informed of this before it comes out, or before it's exposed here, before they take an, yet another loss, or the reason why they couldn't get their act together. Six of Wands, or why you guys couldn't have a victory in love. They want to tell you all this shit. Tell me again, tell me over and over and over, can we be lovers and friends? And this person maybe want to be your lover if they can't be your, your, I mean your friend, they can't be your lover this lifetime. Oh, 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 yeah, cherry card, um, yeah. In the page of cups i thought this person knows that you're moving on or you're looking at good news or you may have good news that's moving forward or you may even have like a new lover or you're moving towards shit that's actually good for you or balanced out yeah tower card you may be leaving them in the dust or or you're no longer fighting for this connection or more importantly like all the ego or you know this, this made you stronger but i feel like there's no need to even confront this or there's no need to beat a dead horse there's no need to beat a dead motherfucking horse. And it's funny I said that because ugh, I got this bag here. And one of my favorite authors, her her book is called um, Tell My Horse, I think. Hey, Donna, let me see you there, big girl. Yeah, I think the book is called Tell My Horse. And this is about voodoo and, and life in Haiti. This is the same lady who made the book of her eyes are watching God, Zora Neale Hurston. I've been reading this for a little while, okay? Um, it is on the Amazon, which is if you want to go ahead and grab it. Um, but yeah. So, there's no point in beating a dead horse or trying to revive a dead situation or something you keep trying to give life to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this person is just not getting right. Yeah, the, you're giving Queen of Swords energy or giving cold shoulder. And I feel like Temperance, Sagittarius, Air Sign, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer signs. These are the signs we have. Could be dealing with any one of these. Yeah, Libra or Aries. Yeah, I just feel like this person knows that, you know, they're undecided about trying to give you equal give and take. Or I'm getting Ace of Swords. They're undecided if you're ever going to, you know, give this to them or let them even repay you or something of that nature for all your hard pain or effort the things you've been through but i feel like the full card you're moving on or you have a new beginning or you have a new love or a new person okay let's pull some cards here on whoever this person is yeah this person at one point if you are if you ask spiritual gifts here 
if you have spiritual gifts or you're spiritually gifted or you know you're a psychic or you know you have clear cognizance you're a reader you're a chair reader this person thought you were a false reader a false psychic or somebody here who you was a fucking fake fake as fuck but like i said past life patterns you've met this person in a past life so this could be why you have the connection or the energy uh is the way it is dealing with this person or vice versa this is a blank card hold on y'all yeah and then i have sunflowers today and sunshine here okay this person may feel like you're um you know you're like little miss sunshine you can be very happy maybe you have a libra placements here you always have a half full instead of have empty mindset but more importantly here that you're already a fucking star fuck you need me for that may be how they felt at one point but yeah this person wants to communicate with you and tell you what the fuck they was doing behind the scenes reveal their secrets here or more importantly they want this to work out but it's like too little too late this is how they feel yeah i deserve okay the song by mama d i deserve i deserve like you know what you fucking deserve now okay so does your sports team and theirs this is also somebody here who could be like your social media stalker this person who's making the fake pages they're stalking you they're sending you shit you know whatever whatever oh there could even be a situation where i've seen this before where somebody would act like they're a fake reader or, you know they, they dm you yeah i got a message for you i got a reading for you blah blah, blah whole time it's the motherfucker trying to convince you to get back with them oh we have a soul connection blah blah, blah. they didn't know what they was doing blah, 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 blah. like dumb shit but yeah this person crying this person said they going through it because they never thought that like you would actually move on or like they like they tried so hard to get to, to get together or like more important this person thought they had like a limited chances a limited 101 chances but like I said, they did this shit in the past life, and this is why y'all wasn't together the end. This lifetime was supposed to be a whole new get together to see if they can get it right, and they could not get it right. Yeah, what it says, this person could even have your phone or your electronics tapped here or had your location on. Okay. Yeah, last card. This person could have been involved a part of a small town, or you both live in a small town. Like I said, small town mindset. That's what's eating them up. Always worry about who got what going on. He said, she said. Only worry about money, crabs in a bucket mentality. Blah blah blah. Yeah, and that's probably this person's abused you. Or this person could even went through abuse here, or you have. Okay. Yeah. But some of you guys here, um, this person could have felt like you was a lazy worker or co-worker here if, if you met them through your job. Or, you know, if you were staying off the work, person could be like, bitch, you don't do shit at work. Get your lazy ass. All right. Or this person could have even been a lazy co-worker at their job or was dealing with one. Yeah. Let's see what the ancestors are saying on on yours and their side oh seven of swords and the four of swords they're saying it's excuse me it's too much betrayals too many different treachery or you know change plans and energies and all this stuff too much sneaky energy too much sickness or too much pain here yeah with the hermit card verse and the three of cups i feel like you know because what's going on what needs to be revealed is like a third party here yeah with the hermit card verse it needs to be a third party here Ooh, but some of you guys here, either there's a third party revealed or somebody need to come out of the closet. Some of you guys, somebody need to come out of the closet. So somebody was fucking with somebody who was LGBTQ. Bad news. Will of Fortune Reverse. Un unorthodox. Yeah, it's two women on this card. The Tennis Wars and the Queen of Wands. So this is on multiple ways here. Either the reason why this person kept fumbling over and over again because they was fucking with, they was having issues regarding their sexuality. If they want to come out of the closet, I'll be honest with you. Um, for us, you guys here, what I am saying is that Queen of Wands, the first person who was dealing with somebody here who was actively doing magic on them or somebody who looked good or somebody who was a part of the street life or the night life or somebody who did not have, uh, who had low self-esteem and whatever it is, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Excuse me, not Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups ace of swords ace of cups that's the truth yeah this is who they was dealing with different situations for different people okay whoever this queen of wands reverse they was like somebody who um probably like very dark very vile very vulgar okay 
maybe even work the nightlife okay maybe into occult magic as well but like dark magic okay well there is no dark or no light but i'm getting like um doing uh baneful magic with no real calls or no real purpose or no real reason just playing around all right and if we're talking about this feminine energy we're gonna pull some index cards here yeah on the block list it's gonna be somebody here who they kept on their block list here and you if you went through their phone you couldn't find it. it's because they kept this person blocked there's just somebody here who they know they're on the block list because of this person but if this is the feminine energy like i said they kept this person on the block list or they was always blocking and unblocking this person yeah but some of you guys here this might be somebody here who they have a child with okay or somebody could be saying try to pin a child on them when they need to take a dna test yeah also if not this could be somebody here who intentionally tries to ruin your health maybe this uh, feminine energy has bad health okay and um this person was dealing with them and it was like intentionally trying to ruin your health all right this could even be like their fucking mother last card yeah check your mail this person may be trying to contact you very very soon or they will be contacting this person very very soon so it's important you check that phone check that mail check whatever you check here yeah this person's doing sex magic on them yep new home new car you could have these things there. This person was doing sex magic on them. And maybe your person was trying to get a new home or a new car. And they couldn't get it because this person has, was doing all this shit on them. And for those of you guys, this is like an LGBTQ situation. Where this person could not come out the closet or express their sexuality. You outing them or, you know, you not wanting to be with them. Or you just giving up on this connection simply because of this person is not coming out the closet they're not being real about what they want of their physical body. This person may want to harm you. Yeah, this person may even be hitting licks with this LGBTQ person, hitting licks or in the street or making plays with them, but this is really their lover. Yeah, they have a so called deep connection, but it's really fucking shallow. Yeah, and I feel like they was fucking with this person with ease, or they felt like it was easy because they would just come up with excuses like <clears throat> Or I'm hitting plays, or I'm hitting licks, or I'm out with the guys, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But yeah, crabs in the bucket. Like I said, this person, they do have a crab in the bucket mentality where it's kind of like if... Like everybody is against everybody, nobody's hoping nobody to see. Okay? Yeah, so someone's having a good time. They be having a good time with their person. Yeah, this person could also have bipolar disorder, BPD, or somebody has BPD here. Okay? Or they may have even made you develop DP BPD. Because how dirty did you? But like I said, control your spiritual gifts. This is somebody here who also, they may have made you think that you had BPD the whole time your spiritual gifts were so strong it was out on them. And was, you know. Yeah, they couldn't escape the motherfucking truth, honey. They were studying you close. They couldn't escape the motherfucking truth. Or you were studying them close here because they couldn't be acting like very lustful towards other people here. Or not really lusting after you, okay? And you were studying them close. Yeah, it says 666, the past comes back. And then I have So Far Gone by Drake for both individuals. It says fucks for free. If you wanna, if you ask yourself, is it just me? Is it just me, or is this sex so good I shouldn't have to fuck for free? Fuck for free, you know, you know, you working day and night to get a college degree. I forgot what um Drake song that is. I go on and on, some, 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 some. It's a Drake song, but yeah, so far going. Then we got Drake here, the actual album. Like I said, this is somebody here who they've known from their past. They have a deep connection with that they fuck them for free for both of y'all fuck these motherfuckers for free i ain't even getting no money mm, 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 mm. that's probably where they shit is actually going ah <sighs> but these motherfuckers want to come and tell you these secrets and shit like that page of pentacles because they didn't learn their lesson but it's like now you want to give them up like you know how that badass boy david remember when we was kids they had that book and he was just tearing shit up oh no david that's the that's the name of the book yeah, not a person wants to be equally yoked, wants to be fair or just or whatever the fuck it is. Cause they know that you're done. It's just once. You're about to have a victory. You're about to meet a new love. You're about to have some of you guys are gonna have a long term success, okay? Or have success and victory when it comes to not only your life but healing as well. And then either having children or having that, you know, wife make offense or the happily ever out there or getting the love you deserve. Yeah, three pinnacles, seven of swords of verse. Yeah, now they want to come confess to restart shit. Three cups about third parties here. Should they be behind the scenes here? Or, you know, trickle down effects. What's going where? What's doing what? Yeah, but three pinnacles and nine of cups. I feel like now because now they want you. 
Now they want you. They finally see that they manifested you all along and you manifested them. Like I said, this is a spiritual divine connection. Two of cups, nine of cups, exactly what they wanted. Exactly what they wanted. Exactly. Let's see what this person thinks that you feel about them or what you're saying about them and how you view them. I'm going to pull four cards out of here. So, G Herbal, Libra, party. So, this person may think that, you know, when they go out to party to celebrate here, or when they say they're having gatherings or they involve other people here, um, this person may think that with the Libra energy, you think that they're being corrupt here or they're lying again uh, about, you know, where they're supposed to be at, okay, or who they're with. You know, one thing about Libra is they lie. And Libra is also regarding the law, what's fair, what's just, what's, you know, equal. It's lying. Also, this person could think that you think that they're really fucking depressed. Or they're going through some type of fucking depression right now. This could be why they ghosted you here. Or why you ghosted them. You felt like they were really depressed. Maybe they were bringing your energy down. Yeah, 88. This person could be trying to focus on their finances. They don't have no money. Or you're trying to manifest money. But this person, yeah. they. What else do they think? The collective think about them. This person thinks that it says using what you got to get what you want. You can run a business here, collective. Or this person could be trying to act like they want to be a business owner or entrepreneur or creative. And you could be feeling like this person needs to be using what they want to get, what they have to get what they want. But then it's like, bitch, you ain't getting no money. You fucking these folks for free. Or, you know, you wouldn't act like you're a business owner. You running business. You stand on business here. You selling shit. Or maybe if you selling drugs or whatever you're doing here. Okay. Or whatever they're trying to do. But they're not coming back with shit. You want to block all day. You come at home 3 a.m. stinking with no with nothing. Um, last cards. Um, they may feel as if, wow. They may feel as if you think this person is a fucking clown. Yeah, at one point you could have wanted to marry them and only them. But now you feel like this person is a fucking clown. Yeah, you may think that they're a fucking fake. They're a fucking clown. And also, cut back on smoking. You may think this person smoke too much. Or they have too many addictions, including drug addictions here. Yeah, this person is only trying to tear you down. And I feel like fuck you up. Okay, or ruin things for you, or ruin your life. Maybe even talk shit about you. That's what this person thinks that you think about them. And says, so I see that hey, it look like makeup. It's all on their face, like that song that little baby. He's Sagittarius. You may also think this person like really hates you here. They despise you. They're jealous of you, and they um they really want to just trap you with a child here. You may think this person is doing. Uh, they think that you think that they're doing uh candle magic on them somebody name could actually be jerry here i'm getting ice cream sweetening magic sweetening rituals here okay just what this person thinks child but they know they fucked up let's see what this next this person's next moves are regarding the collective all right so this person here now Whatever they have hidden, whatever they were being deceptive about here, being fake or false about, now they want you to put your full faith and unity in them and come together with you and see them as, you know, whole or try to make this situation come full circle to restart or rebegin. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, Spirit of the Witch, also the person who's doing magic on you or they acquire somebody do magic on you or they know some, that's somebody that was, they will be trying to reveal this to you or trying to be on point. Or if they went to you to get a psychic or they walked into your readings on you, um, or whatever it is, this person is going to come and tell you that, hey, this is what I've been doing. Or well, something resonates, okay? But yeah, whoever this person is, also screw the lion here. <laughs> this person may also, uh, ooh. If they didn't respect you before, or they didn't respect you then, or see you as a leader, or recognize you, this is what they're going to try to do now. They're going to try to kiss your ass, kiss your crown, or, you know, act like you the shit. Yeah, zombie spirit. Also, if this person was trying to control you before or wanted you to be submissive while they did what they want to do, now this person is going to try to play the submissive role, the sweet role, the nice role, or like the, the ass kisser, the, the, the people pleaser, the, you know, truthful Pinocchio type, yeah, type of role. Yes, yeah, we're the guy here. And it's going to be not only them, but their family. Or if they have a baby mama or baby daddy, they're going to be acting that way as well. Or they want to keep these people in line or in check here. Okay. But yeah, this person has a strategy. This is their strategy. Spirit of the Fox. Sly, sneaky uh, strategy. I don't know why I say a strategy. I almost say a tragedy, okay? But yeah, Spirit of the Stone. This person wasted your time. They had you longing for them. They had delayed and idle, 
standing by idle waiting on them while they talked about you they gossiped about you they they gained up rivals against you here or more importantly they let other people talk shit about you they let other people treat you bad okay in this connection or more importantly like you know they just let this shit go to waste they let the life and everything become stagnant um if you are familiar with um steven universe and you know pink diamond um there's one scene in there that was really sad to where pink's diamond her pearl she's like i'll be back and she was waiting 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 and then like the grass grew and this like you know how time lapses look and it was like she was just waiting 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 she never came like i said this person also has a strategy but like i said they're dealing with the a, a karmic divine feminine for those of you guys who have that the situation resonates with the other female they may be telling this person like fuck you i don't forgive you i'm going to be back with my bitch uh woo -da -woo -da -woo, i'm escaping you and this person like not so fast bitch i got you on the spell or on the string you're gonna do whatever the fuck i tell you to do so bitch sit the fuck down and this person like what the fuck you mean like you know fuck you mean you're gonna gonna like, that's talking about gonna <laughs> and um like i said if this is like a, a situation where the person was dealing with like a lgbtq person and they didn't want to come out the closet or they tried out they wasn't like gay or whatever the fuck it is now the same person this was reflecting all this shit back to them. Like I said, this un unclear confusion, shadiness. Yeah, they have to transform. They have to come out the closet. But I feel like now, when it comes to the other person that they was dealing with, they trying to make it seem like, yo, I know you want to be like my bitch. Or I know you want to be like her. Or like now they trying to act like they just want to drop everything and run upstairs. Like you're not even turn off the lights um, when you're at home by yourself and you run upstairs when it's dark. You fight the monster chasing you. Like, yeah, they don't want that person to chase them. Like, I'm getting, they've learned they listen. They don't want to be controlled. They don't want to be submissive. They don't want to be a top or a bottom or more importantly, like, you know, zombie. They don't want to stoop that low, supposedly, or, you know. They're done being generous. They're done giving gifts or more importantly, they're they're done having their head in their ass or somewhere it shouldn't be involved or indulging shamelessly with this person. Yeah. Who's their friend, their companion, somebody who they have undying loyalty with. And saying, and fuck that loyalty because, like I said, everything's coming to the light and they're trying to resurrect shit with you because they are shocked that you can see through their mask. Or that curiosity killed the cat you knew the whole time. Or you had uh, inklings or your ancestors told you. And baby, let's see what their ancestors are saying. Let's see what their ancestors are saying about the whole situation. Let's see what their ancestors are saying. So there could have been a special movie night or a kickback or something that their ancestors could be hinting at. Or this may be uh, what they trying to smooth shit over with. But, yeah, their answers, yeah, Nivea complicated. I want to spend all day with you. They like, oh, it's a complicated, it's complicated with my, with my, um, granddaughter, with my grandson, with my whoever the fuck it is. But these ancestors do understand that you do need healing waters or that they want this person to have, um, your healing waters if you're a female, okay, period. But, yeah, they feel like it dumps up relationship. They feel like the situation went by fast or whatever they had going on. On the side went by fast. Hey, Domino. Why you gotta step on top of all my cars? Go on, get up here, Domino. Come on. Yeah, but their ancestors also feel like, you know, um, there could have been shit going on the workplace if you met this person at work or they were dealing with somebody they work with or one of their neighbors. Okay. But child, like I said, their ancestors, they already know what it is. They know what they child and did. Yeah, they already know they done made it wrong uh choice then went into the wrong pool and now this person is at the verge of being at rock bottom if they not already yeah this storm is clearing up but baby guess what it's just beginning because it's gonna be a whole nother one yeah they all know these wishes or this shit ain't gonna be realized or it ain't gonna work out because this person must be going in the magical stream not in the in the dirty nasty pool on the murky waters that they've been in so child but yeah that person want to talk to you and come clean i'm just coming clean i know you ain't cheat i was just being mean maybe this person even accused you of cheating but like i said coming apart now they're trying to piece everything together because they realize that you wasn't gonna be deep freeze or frozen forever okay or you wasn't gonna be uh cryogenically frozen or more importantly you was not gonna be stuck on top of the mountain you was gonna come down eventually you wasn't gonna be stuck in a tower like i said sad embrace it could have hurt come apart i realized that you guys would not be coming together this lifetime but shit, you already knew that when they dived into this dirty ass pool of water. Or, you know, when they act like they didn't know where they was going here. They didn't clean up their act, clean up their house. They didn't change or they didn't make any decisions or choices regarding you as connection or compass because they thought you was always going to be there. And I feel like with some of you guys, you could have said that prayer. 
you could have said that prayer and that's what you know did it or that's what's going to do it you you know what prayer i'm talking about and you ask god uh, or you ask the most high okay you ask your ancestors to uh, remove anybody who's not supposed to be around you who doesn't have the best intentions for you or you know who's not divinely um supposed to love you or who has uh made the contract null and void baby they got their ass about her quick okay or they will get your ass about her quick okay yeah i know the prayer yeah, like I said, you could be calm about the whole situation here. Or you need to maintain calmness or in composure. Yeah, Carnelian, I feel like you need to focus on your self-confidence as well, too. Um, it's time for you to act bad or uh, feel like you the shit. Walk like a shit. Walk like it, talk like it, do it, do it, make it do. Okay, and your ancestors are telling you okay. Because I feel like you taught the person a lesson. They couldn't learn it. They're, they're unteachable. Keep it moving. Yeah, and maintain balance and composure. Yeah, you may want to meditate on this fact or meditate on the fact that um yeah, this problem you couldn't resolve. Or you couldn't you couldn't make them choose this divine connection even if you wanted them to. Yeah. Unikite here is living in the present and it says trust. The trust is fucked up here. Or you know, you cannot trust this person to go in the right direction or um to dissolve all the problems. Okay, or have compassion towards you and your feelings or even give a fuck. Alright. Last card. Yeah, like I said, this person want to reach out so motherfucking bad. For some of you guys, you may not have talked to them. For other you guys, you may still be in communication with them, but they want to reach out in a manner to kind of throw everything on the table. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. That's crazy, Aquarius. I, I I don't even know what to say at this current being time being. Okay. But let's see how this person is feeling or what they're going through or what lesson they're learning. Yeah, courage and faith. And then I have the warrior. This person is realizing that you're a warrior too, but they're realizing that, you know, they weren't trying to grow in consciousness. They weren't trying to overcome or transcend their life challenges or shit that they were faced with. Hold on, y'all. I'm stretching. <clears throat> they wasn't trying to embrace their inner strength, power, resilience, or, you know, trying to shine here or let you shine. Okay? This person also wasn't being courageous. They wasn't feel, feeling the fear of the connection or the intensity in doing it anyway. They weren't ready and eager to move forward and do better and be better. All right, they weren't trying to adapt, be uh, courageous or unfaithful, okay? And they weren't trying to be the creator of their own destiny. They wanted their life to kind of just float in the wind of things just happen. Yeah, but now this person wants to be rescued. Or now they're realizing that you're not supposed to rescue them. You, you, you take responsibility for your own happiness. And I thought this person thought you were never going to do that here. Or that you were not going to be um, a martyr. Oh, she that you were going to be a martyr, or more importantly, that you know you are a mentor, not a rescuer. You're supposed to help them, not save them. It's all in their motherfucking hands when it comes down to it. You're not going to continue to rescue and enable this person. You have did it for some time, but you're done. Yep. Second chakra, first chakra, and third. One, two, three. Vibrating extremely, extremely, extremely low. One, two, three. Those first three chakras. Yeah, I feel like you're one with everything. Or you realize your power of who you are. And I feel like you meditate in, on this and you contemplate it. And that will bring you inner harmony or you're at inner you know, harmony or peace within yourself. You know your worth and you have great self-esteem. And I feel like, you know, the person may have tried to break you down. But over with. Over with. Over with. Because I feel like this person was not always like this. This person was not always like this. I don't, I don't know. One thing led to another and this is the reason why they're like this. And it's so funny even me saying this. I have fucking deja vu just saying this shit. But, um, yeah, this was the reading. I hope I did love it, and I would definitely see you guys later. If you want a love reading, you could definitely get one. Or, you know, how this person feel about me reading. We got those, too. Um, and all that good stuff. But, child, yeah, this person, when it comes out, they want to lay it all on, all on the table. Mm-mm-mm.